Alrighty. Hello, Rules Mary. How are you? <coughs> Hope things are going okay for you. We'll give it a few more minutes, see if anybody comes in. Hopefully you can hear me okay. And if they don't come in, that's okay also. They'll warm up to it eventually. I'm doing fine. Hanging in there. I'm going to do a waterfall scene. Um, as you can see, it's taped along the side, so it'll be pretty much two separate. Hey, Bruce, how you doing? I'm going to do a waterfall scene. It'll be a few waterfalls, three of them. Um, you guys can't see the chalk pencil, but I got, got a little chalk pencil going on here. Pastel chalk, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and Obviously, where you see the W is water, if you can see them. I got the light situated a little differently this time. I'm going to try to make a conscious effort not to uh, be in the way. When I put the glaze on, um, the medium on, hopefully this chalk stuff don't wear away, but it might. So, exactly right, Rosemary. Hanging in is all we can do. So, and I pre colored the. Uh, canvas as you can see I just used some um, craft paint light and dark blue and actually I just reversed it it was dark on the top and light on the bottom but I felt that it wouldn't really be necessary so this would be all one painting and yet I'm gonna separate it to be two separate paintings two separate waterfall um, paintings it's kind of inspired by what Cinnamon Cooney did uh, last week. She did a, a waterfall painting and it was really nice. So I'm gonna do a certain uh, hey Billy I'm gonna do a certain hey Christy how are you? Do a certain rendition of this waterfall painting. Like I said I pre this is um 11 by 14 canvas paper. I just put two of them together tape up the middle all right, it's double taped. I got the thicker tape on here, cause you know when it dries, it it constricts and it peels the peels the tape off. So, but okay, dokie then. I guess we will get um get started a little bit here. Might as well. Of course, I'm gonna dig out old faithful if I can find him. It's my little medium brush I just get it at the store and I just cut the uh, straggles off okay I was using it for other purposes too and I'm gonna like I say I'm gonna dip right into the medium here and hopefully it doesn't take away the white it may and it is <laughs> go figure right oh well that's all right I kind of know where everything is Yep, I know not to use chalk pencil I'm doing this. I should just use marker or something, but it's okay. It is all right. <clears throat> I'm applying the uh, what it is is um, glycerin shampoo mix. I'll apply it pretty thinly because once the air gets to it, it liquefies. Okay, and it lasts for a while. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it from other spots here and I'm gonna just wipe it on here. Canvas is totally dry, so the color's not gonna bleed through or anything like that. There we go. This has more glycerin than shampoo, hence not as much soap that you can see. Okay. Okay, alrighty. Well, since I took all of my pencil my chalk pencil lines away. Next time I'll just do the marker or something. I'll just wipe it off and put it away. 
and I guess I'll just go by memory considering I just wiped my pencil marks away so yeah, I guess you just know what not to do right I can actually take um, no nah, I'd rather not do it that way I'll just go I'll just wing it go for it no big deal am I using watercolor paper no this is actually um, canvas paper I just got it from Walmart the 11, 11 by 14 variety um, and I really like it to be truthful I think it's pretty pretty neat stuff to use good practice paper or whatever if you don't want to do anything on canvas <clears throat> all right I am going to take a little bit of white get some water going in here with it make it really thin kind of as a guide for myself um, there'll be some kind of large rock going on right around here somewhere something like that all right um it's gonna be a centerpiece here uh, let's start off here be a centerpiece here going there like that the waterfall is gonna come down and the water is right in here this is where the waterfall is something like that but don't this is not needed that's not needed right there um uh, I have another one I'll just do it right here another waterfall here yeah I had this one come up a little higher like that all right all right this one right here oh and it's gonna be yet another one we have trees right in here something like that and um, waterfall get a thin one going right up in here like this just like that it did come up from around here somewhere so you got three waterfalls here you got a little water coming here um we're gonna continue this guy right along right up in here like that there's gonna be a cliff here come down here like this and go straight down another cliff or whatever right here got a waterfall right in here all that water right coming right over there like that uh as I'm doing this okay that one there that one there that will do fine okay this is obviously this will be the waterfall here the rock here rock here okay you now trees or some kind of rock or whatever over there so plenty of rocks plenty of waterfall all right I'm position this wire so don't yank my head off here hold on for a second and we'll get right into this okie dokie then so I guess we'll start on we're gonna start on one of these sides here I'll place it well, I guess I'll place it. I place it right here, up above. We're gonna concentrate on all this up here. All right. Okay. And what I'm going to do, first off, is we're gonna take. I guess I can take a. I'll take the flat brush right now. This is a number eight. Oh dear, it's a number eight flat. And what I'll do is I'll just block in some colors here. I try to do these in a way that anybody can pretty much do it and we're gonna like I say we're gonna just block in some stuff here we're just blocking that waterfall just like that we'll just block it right in like that so we've got a water waterfall here we got a waterfall coming down here just like that and like I say we're just blocking in I'm gonna come over here on the other far side I'm gonna just block in the color for the waterfall it can be dark like this it just we're just blocking things in and we have another waterfall as a matter of fact we have one right in here just like so so we got two three here we got three waterfalls here one big one right there just blocking it in that's all no more no less all right 
I could put the um I could put the uh well I'm gonna, I'll start with the shrubs and stuff the sh trees and whatnot we can we can do that I'm gonna darken in um the shrubbery I'm gonna mix in this with phthalo blue got phthalo blue I'm gonna use oh let me tell you what the colors are right titanium white cad yellow we got a um, burnt umber uh phthalo blue cad red and phthalo green this time and we're gonna use a little bit of that phthalo green and with the blue and a slight touch of red get it nice and deep I want the forest the shrubs to look a little bit on the uh, mysteriously dark side here okay get a little more phthalo green in there I don't want it necessarily to be maroon and like I say I'm just blocking in color okay so we'll start here with these guys alright so we'll go over here like that and all I'm gonna do is just block in color um just like this just block it in block it right in I'm not really too concerned about what's in the middle here not necessarily mainly the top just like so just block it right in there just like that for the shrubs here okay much like that I'm gonna use some more of this color and we're gonna have um, I guess I have some more shrubs right up in I guess I have some shrubs right here with this guy we'll put other things in it and whatnot but just right now just block it right in there we'll put the highlights and all of that in little trunks or whatever that I feel like putting in there going into my phthalo blue going to my phthalo red a little bit or my cad red and to my phthalo green here a little more phthalo green a little more phthalo green all right I see I'm just blocking in things right now now technically I should have darkened in what I want for rocks before I put the bushes in technique I should have did that and we're gonna paint red through the painting we're gonna put some of that shrubbery red in here also blocking in stage or the ugly part of the painting more or less okay just like so all right okay as I'm checking it out I'm looking at it here if that's all the green I really want I think oh actually no because it'd be rocks here too and probably a rock in here of some sort I'll bring it down a little bit on this side here okay all right let's rinse off this brush for one second let's block in the um block in some rocks here and I'm gonna get a little bit of this umber I'll put the umber right here so we get a little umber a little bit of yellow in that umber kind of brown it a little bit now if I add a little bit of white in that it'll gray it up like that now if I want that a little darker I can add a touch of the phthalo in there Okay. Now that you can see, I'm keep mixing it. It's give me this gray green kind of look. I just get a little more of the umber in there. Umber, I darken it right up. There we go. And like I say, this is just a blocked in color for the rocks. And we'll add details afterward. Alrighty then. And we're going to come right up in here. Like I say, I'm just blocking in the colors okay 
block it right in there. Yep, you guys can see it, all right. Blocking in colors. That's all I'm doing. Just like that. We'll get into the highlighting and shading later. Once again, just blocking in the color. And remember, I have the glycerin on here. That's why I'm not adding glycerin to the paint itself. I have plenty on the uh, canvas here. Okay. I'm getting a little darker brown of the umber. And we're going to continue some of that joy right in here. Just like that. Just plop it right in there. Going right across the tape. Okay. I'm not worried about going over the bushes or whatnot. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. I try to do painting for the beginner. Can get an understanding of how to do this. Of course, you would technically go from the back to the front. All right. Don't go all over the place. I kind of know what I'm, what I want to do with this. So, you know. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit darker with the land mass here. All I'm doing is adding more umber to what I already laid down before. Okay. So these guys would be, well, this guy will be a little darker. He's in front a little bit more. It's like so. It's okay. Just like that. And we'll put him right in there. If something's in the way or I'm in the way, let me know and I'll try to adjust it while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so we got that one. We got these in, in the back back there. Cause it's the water. All right. I guess we're gonna go a little, a little darker um, for the land mass here. And it's well, let's go a little bit darker for the land mass here first. Let's get a little, um, a little more yellow. Add a little red into this mix. A little more red and we're gonna add a little bit of phthalo blue in that okay these rocks are a little darker a little more to the foreground here and that would be these guys right up in here a little bit darker or darker yet I should say blocking it right in we're gonna add <coughs> A little bit of that land mass. We're gonna keep that little little bumpy there. And we're gonna have that come down. Stuff like that. Yep. Why not? Almost lagoonish. Let's put that <coughs> a little bit right there. <coughs> Alright. And we're gonna bring some of that right here too. Your land mass gotta be a little higher than the falls themselves, or it's gonna run over. You got me so as you can see with the masking of the color I'm moving around here all right well, it starts to come together okay if the uh, square on the bottom is in the way I can just take that out of there if you do that you guys don't want to see me mix the paint just let me know and I'll move it that's no big deal okay as we've did that Let's go into nothing but phthalo blue, the burnt umber, phthalo blue, burnt umber, and cad red. An even darker batch of rocks because they're in the foreground here. Remember the glycerin is still quite wet, so I'm not using any glycerin. Hey, dear Roxy, how are you? And we're going to put some of that right in here. As you can see how dark. No, you can't see it because the, uh, the one you call is in the way. But you'll see it in a second here. Hold on. You will see it in a few seconds. Okay, over here. Now, if it's too dark for you, I can bring the light over. 
okay I have no problem switching the light so it can brighten it up a little bit more just holler at me let me know if it's too dark let me know and I will bring the lights more in front of the canvas I'm drawing red through the tape keep the flow of the painting still all right you're not saying anything I take it that everything is fine okay I'll leave it be I will leave it be all right I've blocked in the bulk areas already of what I want for the painting so far like I say anybody can try with this method that I'm showing you anybody can do it now that I blocked in the general shapes and colors of what I want in there okay Hey Bill, how's it going man? It's good to see you. I'm going to darken in some more of this area in here. I just want it a little deeper. Just a little deeper in spots here. Maybe more on the bottom down there. Just like so. Just like that. Okay. All right, that's enough of that. Paint is still wet because of the uh, glycerin and shampoo mix. It's good to see you, Bill. All right, now that I've masked all of the uh, all of the blue in there, um, this spot right here is just a reflection. All right, that's not paint or anything. It's a reflection of the light over here. It just hits against the paper. It's giving you that funky looking blue dot right there. So don't mind that. That is actually the light hitting it. Okay. All right. Now that I've pretty much got the majority of that going on. Um, the only thing I did not um, color in. And I'll do that real quick. Is the water itself. I'll get a little bit of the phthalo blue. A little bit of the green. I'll mix them together. We'll scrumble in some water here. Just scrumble in. Yeah, that's all I want to do is just wipe it in there. I'll bring some of that, some of that down in there. A lot of that's going to be covered with frothiness and all of that. But I'm just color this in a little bit, just like that. <clears throat> Just blocking in the water. No specific way, just giving putting some color down there. No big deal. There. Alright, that's enough of that. So if you make an error, of course you guys can't see it, I have to raise it up a little bit. There. As you see that little dot is right here is moving. All so it might be something on the camera itself, so that might be my doing. Okay, so I might have to wipe that off. But as you see I just colored it in down there. Alright. That's basically all I did. Okay, all right. Oh, let's go back up top here. We're gonna do everything from top to bottom this time. Okay. Just rinsing off the flat brush here. I do rinse my brushes often. Um, just a habit. Okay, let's play with some shrubs. Let's play with the, the uh, get some, uh, leaves going in here. I'm going to use a rather beat up brush. I guess I'll use my round brush. It's been uh, sent through the mill a little bit. I'll show it to you down here. It's been beat down. All right. And we're going to play with all, all of that in there. Okay. For the uh, the grass and, uh, and such for the trees. So let's zoom this in. And let's, go, let's do a little traveling right up in here. Make it look like far away trees of some sort. Okay. We're gonna get some phthalo green and we're gonna pop it right here. We're gonna get a little bit of that yellow. We're gonna pop that yellow in there just like that. Yeah, gotta get plenty of it, as a matter of fact. Okay, and I'm just tapping it into the brush. Cad yellow phthalo green. Maybe a slight a slight touch of red just to deepen it a little bit. And get a little more cad yellow. Okay. 
Let's give a couple taps with this and see what we got. All right. And here we go. If it's too, I think it might be a little bit, it's still too dark. So I will touch a little bit of, just a little bit of um, the titanium white in there. A little bit of, get a little blue, darken that up a little bit. There. Now with the white in there, it's going to show anyway, no matter what you put in it, because of that white, and the white is so strong. Okay, ready? Here we go. We'll pop some of those in there. I'm not going to get rid of all of the dark. And I'm just going to tap a few shapes here and there. You might not be able to see that still. It has to be even brighter. Yeah, there's no way you guys are seeing this. But I'm going to finish off with it. And I'm going to go brighter. <clears throat> Simple fact is that you guys can't see it. So I'm going to go brighter because I have to. When I tap in the colors, they're they're because of the paint beneath it is still wet. All right. So we're going to do it again. There we go. Now you guys can see that. Because the paint underneath is still wet, when you tap like this, there. And just tapping general shapes. I'm just not tapping just to tap. You got to get some kind of recognizable grass shapes or leaf shapes in there. And like I say, I'm not going to get rid of everything. Not all of the darks, anyway. I'm twirling the brush around. Just giving different little shapes here and there. Okay, just like that. <clears throat> We're going to let that tack up a little bit. We're going to go down below here. Oh, right here. Okay, we're going to concentrate on these guys a little bit. And when it does start to dry, and it will, the color will set into the color will set into the um, the darker mix and it won't be as bright trust me and we'll add little stems and whatnot to this also I'm going to the other side here so let's go you guys can you guys technically you guys can see this still continue it right along here We'll go brighter still once I put the background um, mountains in. <clears throat> See a little phthalo, a little bit of titanium white, brighten it up a little bit. I'll probably use a another brush. I don't like the way these are turning out, but it's okay. Alright, I think that's all I'm going to use really for green stuff until I get more and more into it. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to use a different brush. This one here is not splayed out enough, so I'm going to use one of the larger flat brushes to do it. <coughs> I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this Nah, I'm gonna use this guy. This guy should do it. How you doing, Maria? It's good to see you. I'm gonna use the Bob Ross special. All right. So let's go into our titanium white. We're gonna tap that right in, right in here. I still want more green, green. No, let's give it a yellow green here. Just like that. All right. So it kind of looks like that. Alright, let's go back up. Let's go back up to these guys up here. And we're just going to slight touch. I, yeah, that, there we go. That'll work. Alright. And we'll put a couple of them up in here. We're not going to overshadow everything. 
pops some into the dark areas there. I'm just giving it a slight little push. Got plenty of uh, paint in there. Just like that. And we'll bring some down there like so. <coughs> Remember, as you tap, let's go downward. As you tap, and you tap on, on this, you're still getting some of the, the darkness from what you've previously done on there. So just be mindful of that. Just like so. Going right past the tape, because this is going to be two separate paintings when it's done. It, it's obviously one whole painting right now until I peel the tape off it will look like two separate paintings just like that let's go on that other side you guys can see this right here we're gonna go over there if you guys notice there's a PayPal link on this banner if you're not looking at it on a the phone there's a PayPal link if you'd like to donate for the calls, that would be great. It could be 50 cent, five dollar, fifty bucks. It doesn't matter. Whatever you is on your heart to do, it's all good. And if you don't want to do anything, that's all good. But it is there. Okay. Like I said, there's not going to be much green. This is probably all the all the green that it's going to be. Okay. All right. <clears throat> as far as I know, that's all the green that's going to be. Let's play with the uh, rocks. And we're going to start with these guys and over on this side of the page. So let's go up here. Alright. Let's put Mr. Brush back. I'm going to use my palette knife because I like the way. I'm just used to the palette knife. Some of you are a little intimidated with the palette knife. I can understand that. We're going to go into our umber. We'll put the umber right in here. I don't need this. Let's get this out of the way little umber a little bit of the cat red we're gonna mix that together there okay get a little bit of that phthalo blue we're gonna mix that phthalo blue in with it just like that nice and deep color alrighty something like that we're gonna take this paint we're gonna spread it out flat like so all right there's a few ways I can go about this um, for these type of rocks I'll probably do it one way and then the other way as we get closer so there's two different ways you can go about it all right we'll take a little swipe like you know Bob Ross does it. that might be too thick a little thinner swipe it looks kind of like kind of like that there we go. Something like that. A little roll of paint. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's move in a little bit more maybe. We're going to put it right around in here. And we'll concentrate on these guys. And what we're going to do. Alright. Well technically before I do that. That won't be wise for me to do that. Let's take Mr. Fan Brush. We're going to get a smaller fan brush here. Um, this is number four. Fan. We'll, we'll use this one first. All right. Oh, we'll use a little bit of white. Almost jumped the gun. Uh, slightest touch of the blue. Just like that. A little more of that. A little more of that white there. I'm not going to um use any glycerin for this either. Usually you only have one shot at this, but. If you're a little apprehensive doing it, um, I know I can un I can understand if you are. You just take it, go flat with it, and you just come on down, trail it on down, just like that. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And you can do the same thing and sh trail it on down, like so. I'll go brighter with it as I move along. But that's waterfall number one right now. Waterfall number two is right here, just like that. Overlap a little bit. Just like that. Get a little more titanium white. 
I'm just mixing it in with the blue that's already there. I can make this one a little, a little brighter, it's a little closer to us there. Just like that. We got another one here. Just getting a little more titanium white. Alright. Oh, you guys can't see it. I gotta raise it up here. Just up here like that. And we're gonna do another one. Go on down. Go on down like that. Come on this side. Just like so. Alright. Just like that. Okay, so you got one. You got one, two, and three. Let's go over in this big guy right here. Let's go over here. Let's get him done. Uh, I don't have too much titanium white left, but that's okay. We will improvise as we go along. We're going to take them right from here, press, and we're going to give it a little curve, go straight down. Let's go on the other side, give them a little curve, go straight down, just like that. Turn the brush around and have them go right in the center, Boom, just like that. Like I said, we're going to brighten all of this stuff up and we'll straighten this up up here. Don't worry about that. Just like um, filling in the... Uh, the, the rocks you're filling in the water the very same way okay but just like that okay so before I go into the rocks let's add straight titanium white again put it around top of the blue there More titanium white, nothing but pure titanium white. We'll put it right here. Okay, get a nice mound of white, and here we <clears throat> here we go. Go straight down, straight down. Have him come down a little bit more, and straight down, just like that, just like so. Getting some more titanium white. We're gonna come around over here. Let's go. Let's go these two up here. Just like that. Straight down. And same thing with this guy here. Straight down. Just like that. And we got one more. We got this guy on the bottom right here. overlap a little bit don't be shy keep on going with it just like that so we'll pull back in you can see all right see there you go look at the movement there already okay so have no fear have no have no fear alrighty then I'm gonna mash this brush up here whoops you get that sometime I'm gonna have to cut these didn't mean to do that with this guy. All right, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so we have the shrubs in there, um, the bushes, trees. Um, got the, the waterfalls in there for right now. Let's go into making some. Um, I guess we can do it. Let's let's not use this yet. Let's get some brown here. Let's get the brown. Let's put the brown. Eh, we'll put it right there where the white is right now. We'll brighten it up a little bit. It's okay, just like that. That's fine. And we'll cut across. We'll use this for right now. And we'll put some, uh, can you guys see that? No, you can't. Here we are. I'll make sure I get out of the way. <clears throat> oh, let me show you this right here. Same thing like the, oh, what I was going to do for the rocks. We're going to put some tree trunks in there. Okay, you ready? All right, and we'll put them right in there. Just a nice little line right there. Put some in here going crooked, some going straight up to you how you want to do it it's your world do what you feel you must okay if you can't see them I can lighten them up also or I can make them even darker but I think you guys should be able to see some of these if you keep them dark they're a little more mysterious up, really up to you how you want to do it Yeah, I'll just put them in here, here, and there. Just like that. Put some up in here, like that. Nice little line of, uh, some trunks here. Just 
like that. You can use a script liner if you like, if you, if you uh, don't feel confident using a um, palette knife. I enjoy using the palette knife. This is my, kind of my thing. Um, I was intimidated using the palette knife also. So now we're going to go into the rocks. Same little roll of paint, just like that, right there. All right. Okay. I guess I can zoom in a little bit here. Hey, Bill, how are you? Thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. There. We'll start from right here. And we're just going to make the rocks very gently. All right. I don't put my finger on the blade like you're baking, you know, you're, you're frosting a cake or anything like that. And you come up, and I'm going to just go on gently come downward with it. Just like that. It, it'll do all of that for you. Just like so. It's not like you're, you're, you're coloring or anything. Okay. However you do it very lightly because there's tooth on the uh and we come in like that there's tooth on this okay on the paper what i'm trying to say so it's taking the stuff off for you and we'll highlight them and whatnot same thing here just like this going on downward get another swipe of paint front of the rocks a little bit if I have enough paint I'll do it right here have it go across and go downward just like that up around in here too Cause remember your land mass has to be higher than the waterfall itself okay just like that just like so see that instant rocks let's turn my knife around I got some on the other side to see where it is so, like so. alrighty then I say I can highlight some of those if need be let's get some more of this brown and some more blue and a slight touch of the white white in it okay we maroon it a little bit it's gonna be a lighter version we want you to put the titanium white in there just like so I'm just wiping off the knife cut a quick swipe across we're gonna do the same thing with this this fella right here so let's move up a little bit just like that Apparently it's not too dark for you guys, so as long as it's not too dark, I'll just keep going. All right, here we go. Same thing with this guy. Just like that. Bring it right down in there. The paper's got tooth to it, so it's actually making those little gaps and gullies for you. Very lightly, I'm not pressing too hard at all. Coming around here, come down. There, bring it outward and we're gonna we're gonna highlight some of these too so don't worry about that now it may appear to be the same color because the light is making everything subdued all right but it's definitely not the same color trust me and everything will make more sense to you once I put the uh, the highlights on so let's go over here to the big guy this guy right here draw the camera back a little bit and we're gonna bring it downward right around in here okay what am I gonna do with the sky absolutely nothing the reason being there'll be plenty going on in here I I can keep this sky pretty much plain trust me it'd be a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff going on right there with the uh, with the sky and or with the um, water the waterfall the rocks the trees and whatnot because we'll do some other stuff as we um move move right along with it as you see i'm getting a lighter color okay and all i did really is just make some more white to it 
so now you got even more gray okay there's a reason why I've done that but before I, I do that let's finish off let's see if I got I should have a little more dark here and I'm gonna just even though it's on the tape okay I'm gonna still continue on with it even though it's still on the tape it's okay because we got a little bit of rock on the other side of the page here just like that okay now we'll go on to the lighter side here lighter gray right here and we'll just bring it on around like that I think you guys can somewhat see that I think I'll keep playing right here if you guys can't see it I'll well I won't lighten it up I'll just it'll be shaded highlighted rather not shaded and we're bringing it right on around here I don't know if you guys can see that very well I don't think you can I think it might be a little too light I think it's too light I'll brown it up for you it's too light I can tell I'm looking at my monitor and I don't think you guys can see this type of gray very well because I got the lights away from it the reason why I have the lights away is because of the glare of a wet paint okay and if that's the case then I will definitely um, darken this for you I think it is too light hello Bonnie I think it's too light I don't think you guys can see that so let's go back into our brown it's actually burnt umber and phthalo blue and we tap a little bit of red in there but we'll deepen that red up okay a little more a little more blue deepen that color now this is a blue gray I'm mixing right now you're definitely gonna be able to see that I'm gonna have to get some more blue okay and what I'm gonna do I'll just take advantage of what I laid down before all right because it's already got some um, paint on it and what this knife is going to do is I'll uh, capitalize on on the, the paint that I already have on there all right and here we go simple simple I don't think you guys can see that at all so let's turn the light but you see what I'm talking about about the glare this is why I don't want to turn the turn the um turn the light too much so let's see if I can turn it away from you guys go upward like that I don't think you guys might be able to see it a little bit let me know you guys speak up then I will make the adjustments accordingly but you gotta, gotta let me know something Hello, Sunny, if you're there, how are you? And I'm bringing them down. I'm going to get a little curve in there like that. And bring it on down there. Get some darkness up in here. Where you see the bushes end and the rock meets, I'll capitalize on that. Make it dark there. Now, if you if you notice, no matter what direction I go with the paddle knife, whatever the paint catches on is going to break up anyway, no matter what direction I'm going. Unless I deliberately want to go do something, then um, it's just going to pick up what's been put down there before. Actually. There. Okay. All right. And we're going to go over here to the other side. The, pretty much the same thing. I gotta get some more blue. A little more, a little more blue there. I think I'm all right with everything else, kind of, sorta. Let's get a little more caddy yellow going here. One second. I think I got enough of everything else. I don't need no more of anything. All right. Oh, uh, what, what am I gonna use here? I use the rest of this brown up here. I don't think I'm going to need too much more of that brown. I don't think. Okay. I deepen this color up a little bit. I touch red in there. Just like that. Spread it.
it right out thin. Go right across, just like that. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Not pre-recorded. I'm, I'm looking at what you're saying right now live. And here we go. And we're going to get a little dip there and curve it like that. Bring it right on down. A little more on this curve, go this way with it. Come on down like that. And we're gonna do the same thing up here. Boom. Bring it right down. Right on down there like that. Let's bring this one upward, like so. And we'll bring this one. Just have them come straight down and then curve. And then we'll spat our center of that. This here, we'll scrape some of that off and bring it right in here. Make this particularly dark right in here. The highlights will help accentuate all of that once I get to it. Just like so. Okay. <clears throat> Let's pull the painting back a little bit. You see what I got going on here. Alright, that's what it's looking like so far. Okay. And as you can see, with that light aiming in that direction, you can barely see the falls if washed out a little bit. All right. Um. Oh, let's go up higher. There. Now you can see a little bit of everything. Okay. Okay. So you can see the details of rock, the bushes here, the rocks up here on that side, the trees, and all of that good stuff. All right. Hey, Janice, how are you? No problem, Janice. I understand. I understand. It will always repeat and show again. Okay, if you, if you, you know, if you, you can't stay. So I do appreciate you coming and peeking through. I really do. Okay, let's get a little bit of uh, yellow here. A little bit of yellow. I'm going to go right here. A little bit of yellow. Get what left of this brown. Put that brown right in that yellow. Just like that. It's got a little bit of blue in there, but that's okay. I'll just gray it out with a little bit of white. There we go. We got a weird looking greenish gray happening here. That's because of the yellow. Okay. And getting some of that blue in there uh, kind of contributed to it, but it's okay. I want it a little bit brighter, which will make it in turn ugh, too much. That might be a little much. Let's see here. That, that'll work. This will work. The more I mess with it here. This will work fine. We're going to highlight the mountains or the hills or the rocks using this. You notice I didn't do these yet because we're going to do something different with these guys. They're rocks but we're going to shade it differently. Okay and here we go. What's going to happen? Let's go on this side and we're going to zoom back in again. It's going to pick up the paint will pick up what has been previously laid down before. All right, so with this color here, which is like a green gray, okay, it's gonna pick up. No problem, Janice. It's gonna pick up what I've laid down here already, okay. And what I should do really, now nah, I'll keep it like this. It'd be fine. We're gonna shade the uh, shade the rocks, and here we go very gently because you already got paint on here, so you don't really want to smear the paint. So whatever happens, happens with it, just like that. Okay. It's going to pick up what it wants to pick up. It's going to pick up what it wants to pick up. And we're going to come around here. We're going to come down, curve around a little bit, just like that. And the 
more you highlight, the less paint you need. Okay. But just like that, I won't need any more than what you see that there. Let's go on the other side here. The other side, we're going to bring it downward like this. We're going to come down and we're going to scoop it on across like that. Be very gentle. Very gentle. Very gentle. All right. Come down. Come down like that. We're going to scoop it around. and Because you don't want to get rid of all the darks in there. Okay. That helps you all. That brings everything out. Right towards you. Right in your face. All right. Okay. Let's get a little touch a touch more white I'll put the white right here I get a little bit of this color I'll put just gonna mix it right here just gonna brighten it up just a little bit all right and we're gonna do the rocks here let's move the camera see if you guys can see it all all right here we go ready right here and we're gonna come down and we're gonna come across like that and like that and we're gonna do a little bit right right in there like so. Let's get a little bit more right here. Come down, scoop on the inside, just like that, and we're gonna bring it around. Make a game out of it. Have a good time with this. Right here, we're gonna come around and boom, just like that. Let me see. Oh, something like that. Maybe a little slight touch of something in there, like that. Let's go off the page a little bit. Okay. Let's get a little bit of uh, titanium white, just the smallest bit. Well, actually, before I do that, let's let's mix this in. I'm mixing some more of that color in. We're gonna go on the other side. Let's let this tag up a little bit. We'll come we'll come back to that. So let's go on the other side. Let's go with the big guy back here. Let's go with these guys right here. Yeah, we'll do this one first. I'll still keep you guys just as close. Okay, right from here, do the same thing. It's just the highlights. Come on it's down. It's gonna pick up whatever it wants to pick up and leave the rest, as Mr. Ross would say. Just like that. It'll take what it wants. It will leave the rest. Look at that. You get depth and dimension without even trying so hard. You guys can do the same exact thing that I'm doing. The tiniest bit of roll of paint will, is doing this. Okay. Have it go in whatever direction you would like. Come around. Come down. Around. And come on down like so. Okay. That one's fine. Let's go over here. You know, you guys can chat and talk. I am looking at what you're saying um, as I'm doing this. Come down. I know I got paint on here. Come down and across like that. I gotta learn to keep my palette knife even flatter than what I'm accustomed to doing because this is not really a canvas canvas is canvas paper <clears throat> we'll bring some around here like that and curve it downward I'm actually I'm actually um I need to make some more real quick here there we go come across and we're gonna come on down come on down That's fine. Let's get a little more titanium white. It's like I said before. Keep it pretty, pretty bright. I'm wiping the knife off a little bit. Let's go back around here. Add a few more, high, few highlights. Probably to the one a little closer to us, like this guy, right here. Yep, you guys can see it. And it has to be a little brighter. toward the front, sweep it toward the back, toward the front, and have it curve around. I'll use my other hand, it's just easier for me to do it this way with the other hand. There we go, and coming around like that. Okay, 
and maybe a few cutesy little highlights here or there just something like that not too much for the ones in the back just some little highlighty things back there just play around with it like that just like that and I'm gonna leave it just like that very quick all right just like so see rocks and we'll go over here let's raise this up a little bit we we'll add a few highlights up here too just a couple like maybe come down here a little bit and maybe up here and come on down see what it's going to do is pick up off of the raised paint that I put down beforehand okay it's a very thin swipe of paint that's doing this little more toward the front if anything I'll keep the stuff in the back back there it's all right mmm right here a little more white okay we'll have a little fun with this guy here Just like that and some of that right here too like that and we'll bring some of that down and around and come across like that just like that of course you guys can't see what I'm doing because of that square but it's right there okay alright so let's pull back and let's see what we got so far alright that's what it's looking like so far okay while I got it here, let's draw it back a little bit. We're gonna concentrate on the on the greens over there. All right. Hey, Bill. Well, thank you. Like I say, I'm doing this in a way that that anybody can do it. Um, that's mainly what I try to concentrate on. Is that anybody can paint a painting like this? A couple of dabs, mixing of the colors a little, and um, pretty much there you have it. I'm trying to find a brush that I kind of, hey, let's try this guy over here that I beat half to death. This is a giant one. Uh, it's, it's number 12 flat. What I'm going to do with this fellow, let's put it down here in the black area. I'm going to concentrate most of the paint on the on the ends here. All right. I'll keep it splayed out. We're going to get a little bit of yellow. Uh, we'll put it with this dark blue right here. Yeah, let's get a little white. We're going to highlight that pretty strong. Let's see if this works here. Okay. Just on the on the tip there. Alright. And right where the trees are, we're going to pop a few. Nah, it's going to be much brighter than that. You really don't know how bright you need it until you actually put it on the canvas. I remember this canvas has got this blue, greenish tinge to it. So it has to be fairly bright. So we'll put some of that titanium right right there. But you don't want it so bright that it looks like snow. Alright. And so we'll tap some of that on here. And trust me, you don't need too much of the bright stuff. Alright, let's see if that works. Well, yeah, we'll pop a few of them in there like that. Just like that. Alright. Right where the tree limbs or whatever is... Uh, and remember, this stuff, when it dries, it dries flat, all right? I'll turn the brush around. I'm only using the corner. Okay. I'll tap the brush a little more, just opening up the brushes a little bit. And we'll put some of that up here, too. Or down here can you guys see that yeah you guys can see it remember use the corner of the brush don't try to use all of the brush just the corner and a couple of light taps here and there okay and a couple of dots down there a couple of them up in here and we'll bring some of that around in here as loosely as I can I 
want more of a um, put some nine in there too. I want more of a um, spattered look into a, instead of a bunch of blotches. Trying to use just the corner of the brush. Go off the page a little bit. Play around where it's pretty dark. Just, just like so. Okay, that's cool. That'll work. Just rinsing off the brush real good here. As I'm looking at it, I'm checking it out. Let's get a little bit of this white. Well, I got this brush. And the brush maintains a pretty decent, sharp, flat edge. And while we're on this subject, we'll highlight the tops of the falls here. Kind of staggered, and that's fine water is not necessarily too even or the rocks underneath are too even turn, let's turn it over here like so alright just going in one direction coming here on the other side you guys can see it just see it on the corner there I'll bring some of this down too bring some highlights down with it I can do that, that I can do just like that. Right, do the same thing here. It's like that. Bring some, press it, and bring it right down there. Just some quick highlights here. Just like that. Kind of wakes that up a little bit. Just like so. Okay. to do I'm going to go in the reverse I'm going to take some of the dark blue here these brushes were actually given to me someone that watches uh, sent them to me and I do appreciate it they're great I'm going to reverse right here from the bottom and I'm going upward just a nice little press going upward up into the falls a little bit Just a little bit. Just press up, press and a release. Quick press release. Especially toward the uh, corners here. Hold on for a second. Hopefully, um, hold on for a second. Let's get out of that. I timed out again. Hopefully that's not my server, it's just this uh, tablet. I'm about to find out in a second. And if it is the tablet, that means you guys still are listening to me, so. And it's nothing worse than dead air. about to find out in a minute here. Go to my channel. Apparently we're still live. Alright, that's cool. Yep, you guys are still here. Alright. At least I hope you guys are still here. Let me <laughs> let me know. I'm going on the other side. I know it's on the far side for you guys. Basically, I'm just adding some dark spots here and there to the waterfall. Adds a little more character to it. Okay. Some down here. Just like so. Yeah, somebody holler at me here. See if you can, let me know that you guys are still here. Because 
I sure enough can't tell. And not unless you say something. Alright, I'm using a smaller round brush. You guys can see that. How about down here? Smaller round brush. I'm tapping into the red. Oh, well, jeez. Uh, a little bit of white. A little more white than that. No glycerin at all. And then we'll put some little fire brands in there, here and there, like that. And we'll put some up around in here, like that. Just a little interest here and there. Tapping a little more into the red. Let's get a little more red here. A little more red, a little touch of white. And we're going to plop some in here like that. Come on down in here. And you want them to have a little little airiness to it. And some down in here. Add a little yellow to it. Why not? It's a little bit of yellow. Hey, Vermont. I'm glad you stopped by. Said hey. See what the heck I'm doing. And we'll put a little bit right here. And we're gonna tap in a few here. Just a few little bits of red in there. In a few coming downward like that, up in here like that. All right, that's enough of that. All right, let's tackle these guys a little differently. But before we do that, let's add a little mist. Now let's just get a little solid before we do that. That's that'll be the final run. Let's go up here. We're gonna tackle these. Um, rocks a little differently okay what I'm going to do first off is get some more um, umber so we'll put the umber right here a little touch of umber and we're gonna mix some yellow with, into that more yellow and we're gonna probably add a little white to gray that out but for, we're going to take a, a palette knife that looks like this. Alright. Actually, I don't want this one. I'm going to take the palette knife that looks like this. There's a reason for this. I'll put it right here. See that? A little slope there. Okay. These I prefer more than the Ross ones. But we're going to mix this in here. This is um burnt umber and yellow. Alright. Now watch what happens when I put... I'll use this. This should do the trick anyway. With a little bit of white in there. Eh, maybe maybe a little bit more. Now you're gonna need some more. You need some more titanium white. When you add the um, burnt umber cad yellow with a little bit of titanium white like that, okay, you're going to get a very attractive looking gray. You just mix it around, stir it, stir it in there. Just like that. See that? It's a very nice looking gray right there. But I'm going to need plenty of it, so I'm using the rest of this. Okay. Now, doing rocks like this, I learned from Wilson Bigford. That's a fellow I got um, certified from, the teacher, instructor. Now, this version of how to do the rocks, it does require paint. It's an oil painting method. So thick, um, this is acrylic paint by the way, so thick acrylic paint, uh, this works great with. Okay, now I'm going to show it to you right here. You guys should really, there, see, see all of that? All right, little stalactite looking things there, you, you can kind of see it there, there, perfect. It's like that, alright? That's what you're looking for, because that is what you want to touch your paper. Okay, now. 
Oh, okay, so I must have... I don't know if I either came out or came back in or it was my tablet. I'm going to think it's my tablet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap. And it's a touch. Don't try to pull. Okay. But all you do is you just give it a little, little touch. Just like like this. And it just comes up, comes apart. I guess you would drag it a little bit, but not too much. And I'm going downward with it. Now this, this is paper, so it's going to bow a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm just tapping and going downward. Whatever direction I'm looking to get with it, or go with it. Like so. <clears throat> Oh, you guys can't see because I'm my head is blurring everything out. Pardon me. Sorry about that. If I'm going into the other mountain or part of the rocks, that's fine. Oops, that one's a little thick there, but that's okay. I can correct that. That's no big deal. I'm going to go over here on the other side. You guys should be able to see it. Let me get my head out of the way. That's what's killing it. It's my head. Sorry about that, guys. And I'm just tapping. And just tapping and moving it, moving it along. I'm going to do with just the tip here. And you can highlight the same exact way. Or you can shade the same exact way. All right. I'm gonna come over here on the other side, and I'll just lightly tap and bring it on down. I'm just using the tip right now. Away. It's omnidirectional, going whatever direction you see fit. All right. I have to switch hands here to get toward that closer to that edge, and just lightly tap. Now the, this paper, like I say, is well, one is paper, and it moves around on you a little bit. But that's fine. Okay, but much like that, and I'll highlight and whatnot. I can add different shades and tones to this, doing it this method. I am going right past the tape with this. I'm going to take a little bit of, I'm going to show you all, take a little bit of maroon, oh, I'm going to make maroon, I'm going to take a little bit of thalo blue, cad red together, make it pretty, pretty dark, just like that. It's mixing as I'm tapping it. And if I want some dark spots, do the same, same procedure, tap, instant dark. As you can see, make instant dark spots if needed. If needed, I want them pretty dark towards towards the bottom down here, where the uh, water line is. But see, I can kind of finagle and finesse it any which way I I feel. I can do this towards the bottom here. They really give a sense of depth when I highlight the other rocks. Right here where it was a little too much. Put more on the knife if you would like. But it gives you a different type of rock, different look to your rocks. I'm going to cover here on the other side. And the way that I got the lighting is pretty dark anyway. And it's also picking up off the uh, paint I put preced preceding it. So it's the same effect. No problem, D. Roxy. I do appreciate that you did come through. Let's get some more white. Because I will add some highlights to that also. 
little titanium white right there. We're almost, we're almost done. We're almost toward the end of this. I'm just using more white, just like that. Okay, and right here toward the top, we're gonna just let's give it a little tap. It's picking up right where wherever the raised paint is that's what it's picking up is what I'm trying to say here so uh, you can have all sorts of fun with this I'm going to bring it well, I get enough of it And just tap away. Not, not much dragging, just a lot of a lot of tapping and traveling with the knife a little bit. I'm coming right on the other side. I'm just going to keep it going. Not necessarily going into the uh, to the darks. It's not needed. Whoops! Get rid of that. And we'll bring some red paint around in there like that. I'm wiping off the excess on my towel that you is obviously off camera, but that's what I'm doing. Mmm. Let's bring some of that right up around there like that. We're gonna go on the other side here. Right over there. Highlight the edge a little bit. That little top there. We're gonna come on down. It's not enough. Remember it's picking the little stalactite. Um, there we go. Whoop. Actually, much like that. Okay. I'm looking at it, looking at it. I still want a little highlight right around in here. Kind of something like that. Get rid of that part. Yes, I will use my finger in a hot minute if I can get the effect that I'm looking for. <coughs> Thank you for making me jump, dog. All right. Must be mama home. Yep. Okay, a little bit over here, like so. Oh, that's just even lovely. Okay, I'll see, see what I can do. All right. And much like that, let's pull back. I know once you guys keep looking at one spot for a while, like, oh, wait, before I do that, hold on. I got one more highlight to do. Hold up, right here, right around in here. Just like that. Okay, let's pull back. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, he's a big one. Okay, well, that's what she's looking like so far. All right. So before I do the um, the rocks in front of us, let's play with the water a, uh, a little bit. Let's take, hmm, eh, we'll take a, what is this, a three quarter inch? Yeah, it is, it's three quarter inch flat. We'll take this guy right here. I'll show you down here. Look down below. This guy, we'll take him. Where are we rinse? Okay. Take the smallest amount of blue, little, little, you guys can't see that, a little touch of blue in the corner there, and we'll come here, and we'll, we'll take a little bit of white here, we'll just play around with it, just like that, alright, probably a little darker, let's go a little darker, something like that, I'm going to dip into a little bit of medium, because I think the medium's a little dry now, let's see, yep, it's dry, we'll, we'll put the medium into the paint itself okay so we'll play around with some waves and, and whatnot um, horizontal strokes much like this I should have made it a little little darker but it's okay we'll, we'll play with it just like that we'll just play play around just a little bit Just 
and we're going to take a fan brush and we're going to get little wave actions going and whatnot. Okay. Just like that all up around in here. So we're going to brighten some of that up. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Right now I'm just putting it in there real fast. We'll pretty that right up. Okay, let's go over here. Not too much is needed um, really here. Actually, not much at all. As a matter of fact, let's just take some white. Uh, this is a small, smaller brush. And we're going to make a nice little, little line right across. And one right across here. Go right on across, right on across, right on across. Let's make that a little bit brighter. A little bit brighter. Right on across, we'll go across with it. It's like that. We'll bring some of that down in there. All right. Mm, let's take some blue. I want some depth in there. My discretion, really, it's your discretion too if you want to do this. Some darker blue. I'm gonna take advantage of some of those white lines and put it right in between some of those so it'll make it uh, look like white caps so I'm just going really in between the <laughs> the white areas there it's like so not necessarily getting rid of the um, um, the color I laid down there Especially up around in here, where it's kind of shallow, but the rocks here, so you can make that a little darker. Play around with it in there. All right, something like so. Okay, and we're gonna play around with some of the. Uh, oh, you guys can't see that. I'm sorry. We're going to play with some of the uh, the white caps in there. After I put some of the splashes and all that good stuff in there, we'll use a fan brush for that. And thicker um, paint. Okay, let's use, now let's use this guy. No, let's use a bigger, let's use a bigger guy. Oh, well, well, what size, I'll tell you. What size, size 8 fan brush here. Okay, I'll put it down here, you guys see. All right. Oh yeah, that's coming. That's coming. Gotta have the splash. Okay, uh, let's show you here. See, it's right on the tips there. Okay, need a little more paint than what I got on here. You do, really. I'm gonna just use, the, and I'm gonna just tap. Using the corner, just a tap, just tap it in there. It's like that. See this? Just tap it right in there. You can have it go up a little bit if you want, yeah, or you can give it a nice little push, little splashes here and there. I need more white. This is another fun part too. The splashes and whatnot. Let's clean this off. I want more of a pure white. And corner the brush. Don't need the whole brush, just the corner. Like that. Alright. Okay. Tap it right in there. And splash away. Just like that. Bring some of that. We'll splash a couple in there like that. We'll put a couple of white caps in there too, like this. You'd be surprised how much activity you can get out of your water doing stuff like this. And put a little couple of couple of nice little splashes up in there. Don't be afraid to press your brush. Put it right in there. Get some more. Right on the corner. Don't try to cover the whole the whole thing. Put some right up in there like that. Just tap in a few. 
just wisping some little wave action here and there. And I can, I can. And we can add a couple little dots up in there and have it churn in a little bit like that. Even up around here. Can you guys, no, you guys can't see it because of my head. You know, you guys should say, hey, move your head, idiot. <laughs> you really should say that, really. I'll get the head. Let's go. And I'm too far away for you guys to really see anything. Something like so. All right. I can, you know, you can smooth a lot of those out. Up to you how you want to do it. Have them going in different directions or whatnot. See how much activity you can get going in your water. Look. Look at this. Now, that water looks alive. Okay. All right. Plenty of, of paint, corner of the brush. Let's move over to the waterfalls this way. These three. Do the, do the same thing. Light touch, get some taps going on in there. And get something coming alive up in there. All up in here. Same thing here with this guy. I'll give it a, give it a nice little push, but I'm just using the corner. Maybe a little higher up in here like that. Have, have some action going on in here like so. And toward the bottom down here. Remember you got a rock down here also. So we're just going to tap away. Tap, tap, tap. Well, very lightly. The action is more hitting against the rocks than anything else. Try to keep it white. Just like so. Flashing it around in there, like this. All up in there, like that. Just like that. Just getting heavier white right in here. Just like that. Alright. We'll let that tack up and do what it's going to do. Okay. Let's work on the foreground guys so let's get rid of this box here we're near the end and we're gonna go just like so and we're gonna pull back just a wee bit sorry about that that was my phone here we go that is that is the um, each side here all right so Yep, that is each side right here and right here where you see my hands here. All right. Let's see if we can get more painting and less head here. All right. Okie dokie. Let's take what little bit of uh, white we do have with this same gray. And we're going to mix it right in there. Mix it right up in there like that. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. And remember, got that funky, oh, you guys can't see it, gotta put it here. The light catches it, there you go. That little funky stalactite looking, like that. All right, that's what we're gonna use. And we'll start from the side where my head is not All right, so we're gonna start right up around in here. And you're gonna just tap away the paper just like that and we're gonna continue that on just tap away the paper's bowing a little bit but that's okay I'll work with it go this way just tap away
once you get accustomed to it doing it this style it um it goes pretty fast also remember it's omnidirectional um whatever way you hold your knife i'm just tapping and giving it a little little drag i can curve the curve the blade up around a little bit okay and mainly i want to outline the the top edge of this guy let's get my head out of the way you can go this way this way it kind of don't matter flat meet, meet it right at the edge there kind of bring some of that up and around like that only give him one he, he he's he's just he's just all right and yeah big boy be trying to trying to con treats out of people great con artist he is Trust me, he, he's a great con. He's a master at it. Okay. Okay. Let's bring a nice little shade right up around. Or a little little highlight right up around there like that. Let's take a little bit of this. Getting a little bit of the darkness here. A little bit of the red. A little bit of the uh, phthalo blue here. I don't need really too much of this and maybe just a few bits here and there now you may not be able to see it but if you had it in person uh, you definitely would be able to see this because it is much darker than um, what I've put on here and so basically all I'm doing is adding a little more dark right to the direct foreground add to the dimensions of all of this rock in here. Well, you guys are a quiet group here. The Facebook group wouldn't stop talking. You guys are pretty quiet. All right, something like that. Let's see, do I got any? No, I don't. Nothing but direct, um, let me clear a path here, hold on. Nothing but white I'm going to use here. Cleaning off the brush. You guys should, no, you guys can't see it. I'm so used to having it on. I'm just using titanium white. Same procedure, just straight titanium white this time. And we're just tapping on the knife. I'll show it to you on the other screen here. Pretty much looks like that. All right, and we're just gonna highlight, usually around the edges here, just like that. And the highlights give the depth and dimension of where you want your highlights to hit on these on these guys. Going toward the tip. Just like that. A little more solid on the on the rock edge. Bring some right here, coming down like that. As long as you highlight the main edge of the rocks, you're kind of good to go. Remember this these type of this type of, this style of um, making rocks is. The, the palette knife omnidirectional. I'm just tapping. And I really want to outline the shape of the rocks, really, without it being a straight top of line like you were doing it with a marker or something like that. And still keep it kind of craggy. Let's curve that one around. Right up on the top there. Like that kind of highlights the, the whole thing there. I need a little more definition right in here. Have it come this way. Need a little more on this edge here. One
one more. If I can get a hold of it. Right up in there. All right. As I'm looking at it, and looking at it, and looking at it, I'm just going to see if there's any more final whatever to it. I'll pull it back. Look at the total painting here. All right. Yes, I can use a little bit of brightness here and there. The yellow I have might not be too, um, well, the yellow I got is kind of transparent. It's not as opaque. So let's get a little bit of yellow here. It's for more full of foliage than anything else. I want the foliage to stick out a little more. And all it takes is a few um, bits of highlight here and there. So a little cad yellow, a little titanium white a round fan brush mix them together most likely going to be the brightest things on there I'm really smashing the brush in there pretty good okay let's go in a little bit just like that and we'll pop in a few bright birds in there like that We'll put a few of them up in here, just a little bit. Yes, mix with the green, so it won't be too overbearing. But I just want them to be a little, little brighter in spots. Okay, that's all. We'll pop a couple of those up in here, probably where the, where the white is. And we'll pop some of them down in here. Maybe some traveling down the rocks down there a little bit like that. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad. A little unnerving because no one's saying anything, but that's okay. I think it's better to see that people are here not saying anything than they just click off and don't say nothing. <laughs> As you can see, I don't really need anything for those clouds or anything like that for the sky because there's so much going on with the middle of the painting. As I uh, mentioned, there's a whole lot of stuff going on in here. Right up in here a little bit. You guys can't see that. Let's go over here. Here we are. A couple of touches, a little taps here and there. Especially where it's a little deep in color and we'll put some up here mm, maybe we have a little trail coming down the rocks here like that and it trips over Come on, comes on down there like that a couple of these come on down there like that a little bit alright okie dokie well, we'll pop a couple of can you guys see that over there? No, you can't. Let's go downward. Right here. I'm going to take the brush and just give it a good push. Just like that. Put some of these guys up in here like that. Right on top of the, Maybe a couple of them up here. Why not? Yeah. Let's get a little phthalo green. Let's, let's just play. Put it right up in here. Mix it right in. Matter of fact, let's bring some of that phthalo green down there. Like that. Have it branch off a little bit. Same thing here. Put a couple of them right up in there. And have it come on down. Travel on down there like that. One come down this way. Come down that way. All sorts of little things going on. Let's put some down in here like that. Just like that. We got like half yellow, half green. And that's fine. When it's like that, you can put like a little little bush in there like that. I get my head out of the way here. A little more of a darker green right up in there. And we have it come on down. It's like that. You can add all sorts of detail. Whatever you want. 
it's, it's your world, your planet. Do what you feel you need to do. Okay. All right. Something like that. All right. I think that should be about it. Let's draw it backwards a little bit. We're going to take the tape off pretty soon here. Let me just uh, sign my name to this. Like I say, it looks like all of one painting, and it's really not. It's actually two separate ones. Let's get the old script liner. Get some water. It looks like I'll be using this yellow white mix. Why not? Put it right here in the corner, real fast. <laughs> Something like that. I want to put it on the other side too. Because I don't know. I doubt I'll. S well, who knows? Somebody might want them together, somebody might not. Don't know. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. Let's take this apart. If you like what you've seen, um, you would like to contribute to the channel, the PayPal link is up there on the lower right hand side of the banner. You're gonna have to see my head for a second while I get this piece of tape off of here. I have uh, a few pieces of tape on here because, like I said, the original tape peeled off when it um, when the paint dried. It just pulled it apart a little bit there. Hey, Indianapolis, how are you, Guru? Had kind of a busy day there, didn't you? Okay. For a second, let's go this way. Go upward, and upward, upward, upward. Keep going upward and upward. I kind of like a sharp border. I mucked this up a little bit. That I'm gonna have to glue that. But it happens. No problem, Bill. I appreciate you checking everything out. This part I have to be kind of careful with here. So I'm pulling as I'm taking this off, going side to side, so I don't rip into the painting itself. Because it will do that. I've seen me do it. There. As you can see, one painting turned into two paintings here. Two separate paintings, okay? So there you have it I'll keep it like this I'll take the picture of it together and then I'll take a picture of them separate and it just don't look like it's in focus much I think it's because of the lighting here yeah it kind of washes it out a little bit sorry about that oh yeah it definitely washes it out there but anyway there you have it okay both of them. Um, I do have a name for it. I just forgot what it was. It's on the title, I believe. 
Well, thank you, Maria. And didn't use too many brushes. So, um, once again, thank you. If you like, click the like button. Um, I can say the PayPal link is up there if you want to donate. That would be great. Um, I hope to see you guys again. Thank you for watching. Also, um, the premiere, a brand new one, will, will appear this Monday at 8 o'clock. I'll be in the chat room, Lord willing. And um, it's not very long. I don't think it's an hour. I think it's like 45 minutes or something like that. It's very short. And um, thank you, guys. God bless. And I'll check you later. Peace.